okay the residuals ui hat they are uncorrelated remember this that they are uncorrelated fine with predicted y with predicted y fine well you can you can um, actually do this using uh, some of the results which you have derived earlier okay that is uh, what you need to prove is this that summation of uh, y i hat u i hat um is equal to beta 2 hat summation of uh, x i u i hat and you know this how i am able to write this because your model in the deviation form could be written as y i <coughs> equals to beta 2 hat x i plus u i hat clear so your y i hat that is estimated y i in deviation form would be would be beta 2 hat x i clear so your and if you start by saying this that summation of y i hat would be beta 2 hat summation of x i and in case if you multiply this with u i hat you will be getting this clear well taking it further beta 2 hat into summation of x i into now in case of u i hat you can write it as you can write it as y i minus beta 2 hat x i so i need to find out just the value of u i hat so it would be y i minus beta 2 hat x i so it is y i minus beta 2 hat x i clear well this would be equal to beta 2 hat summation x i y i minus beta 2 hat square summation of x i square well this would be equal to beta 2 hat okay beta 2 hat now now just see you know this that beta 2 hat is equal to summation of x i y i upon summation of x i square so summation of x i y i would be equal to beta 2 hat into summation of x i square clear so you will put in place of summation x i y i that is beta 2 hat into summation x i square so beta 2 hat was already there into beta 2 hat summation x i square would be beta 2 hat square into summation of x i square minus beta 2 hat square into summation of x i square clear and you just cancel it and you will get this equal to zero well this shows us that the residuals ui hat they are uncorrelated with predicted by clear thanks